Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, let's walk through a few things. So this is our storefront as it is right now. I want to document this so you guys can see it. A um, little bit more of like a lounge slash, I mean I feel like it's like a freaking closet or something. Definitely feels cozy, um, but a little bit maybe less mature than we're looking for. So dad and I are going to fix up this showroom. What I mean by that is we're going to build like an L, an L bracket kind of, uh, you know, front of house like, what is this called? A front desk, a front desk. Jeez, Monday morning. Anyways, we're gonna build a front desk right here with some shelves so we can put all of our new products on the shelf. We're gonna end up turning our little vault, all products that you can buy. So for example, we have like some 144 products also mixed with some rad like RB Army stuff we've printed or Mantis Angle or OSW Drift or RTR or Jesus or LZ. So anyways, all the good people we get to print for, we've kind of been showing them off up front. I think we're going to turn this into more or less everything on this rack you can buy. Uh, with that being said, when you walk into 144, check this out. So you're walking in, psh, 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 and you look up, and you're like, oh, sh and the whole team is kind of working here, like, and we're all kind of going back and forth, whether it be quoting projects. Right about here-ish, we're going to put a wall. That way you can then come and walk through this section. We'll move this table and a few things and kind of make a little bit more of like a meeting slash creative room here um, versus this all just being like one lobby that you walk into and you're kind of overwhelmed and you're not sure what you can buy and you're not sure what you can't buy. Need some paper towels? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of, lots of, many vice fabs. Many vice fabs. <laughs> we are opening up the FDF products. So super quick story. I've been on vice fab like almost my whole career. We're having a really, really cool partnership with FDF for the 2022 season. And in this, we've just received our new products. So me and Adrian, we're gonna bust open these boxes, basically lay it out on a table and uh, just kind of like literally compare what our WiseFab V2 looks like that we currently run versus the new FDF that just came in the door. And um, yeah, just kind of like run through some, some topics about them. So jump in the comments and let us know what you're up to um, because I know there's a lot of left and right going on between WiseFab and FDF. So here we go. We're off to a good start. Can't open a damn box. Very well packaged, I'll tell you that much. Or my knife's just dull. All right, pop quiz for Adrian here. Adrian, <laughs> so moving from the WiseFab to the FDF, other than the partnership and kind of the cool things going on behind the scenes, like are, what, what most excites you about it? Working with all the technical stuff, I like specs. Something I did notice, Josiah is very open about all the specs, open about like what's recommended. It's very helpful on, on all the hard numbers that go into angle kits and it makes you I guess feel more confident in what you have versus WiseFab. I actually couldn't find a lot of specs on some of the stuff that I could get on the internet. Even just an overview of the products on social media. It's just like, I guess it's just tried and true, but being kind of new to drifting, uh, there's just not a lot of specs that I can extract from WiseFab. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that there's a lot of specs on this is really nice to know. What I do also like about it, what Adrian's saying is like, you can ring them up and ask them some questions. They're also making a lot of YouTube videos with a lot of like helpful knowledge. And for me, that's really rad. Like with WiseFab, you know, obviously like I've had no complaints and no real big issues, but it's not like I can ring them up and ask them a technical question as a driver where with FDF, um, that opportunity is there. So like that personal side to it feels good. All right, so we got everything broken out and uh, yeah, let's basically take a look at it. Got everything unboxed. What it comes with is... Knuckle. Lower control arm. Tie rod. Top hats. For the rear, we got lower control arms. Camber. Toe. Traction. Knuckles. Woo! Adapters. And that's it. Shout out, we got Brandon back in the house. That stuff looks crazy. 
Gosh, it looks so beefy. Then it goes to another Heim joint. Oh. In theory, a lot stronger than this uh, setup. For us, break pretty often. Um, and with a Heim joint, it can handle a lot more abuse. This is pretty much, let's go all the way in. Let's, this is pretty much all the way seated where there's no more th thread to go smaller. And this is almost all the way fully extended. So if we were to match the, I guess the surface area of this and here, we're already longer. You can see how big that is. And then if you were to fully extend, which all you'd have to do is this and it can get pretty far. Let's see how far it goes. Enough than we need. And it just keeps going. So tie rods are longer, beefier. In theory, this would last a lot longer than this little setup. So that's really good for us to see. This, it looks so much crazier in person. And I like that this is round. Yeah. The fact that this is round makes it way easier to not damage. Uh, our Weiss Fab is basically a big hexagon and sometimes it would move and give us a false reading because the point obviously isn't the same as it being flat. So the fact that this is round and it not being able to get damaged that easy is really cool too. So Adrian's saying like the bump stop on the Weiss Fab, you know, they're all kind of squared off and you can literally see what he's talking about where like in certain moments you know, whether it be like on a rumble strip or crashing into somebody, um, we've actually spun it without knowing before. So like, check it out. So you can see clearly where we've scarred it up. Um, so at some point, that bump stop was able to slip. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The size of this is way different than the size of that. Yeah, it do be. 7 so it's like two tenths of an inch so just these itself are way beefier all right we have a customer here to pick up a car uh, Brandon's holding a super rad rear knuckle so <laughs> we're gonna get to that in the next episode uh, the boys will work on installing this on the car and we'll give you some feedback on the install obviously I'll film some of it so yeah I just wanted to kind of unbox the FDF and show you just the basics and uh, just compare a few things but Overall, I'm, I'm super excited to throw this on and, and get to work this season, so. This is crazy. <laughs> all, all the work. Box. <laughs> you lied about the box, about weighing it. I, I did not. Well, I thought you forgot. Okay. My wife thought I didn't weigh this box and tell her the truth on the weight. This no, box. I just said you forgot it. There's no way you remembered it because your memory is questionable at times. So I did remember it. Just shy of 43. We made a deal that I would do 10 push-ups if I was wrong. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thanks. 10 in a row. Easy, in you got row. this. Oh, she put the hat on backwards? Oh, it's gonna <laughs> hit the floor. And then narrow it on. Four. Dang, you struggling on four? I'm sore. Five, don't quit. Six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more! <laughs> Alright, good, good, good. Good job, baby. About to do some home improvement. Let's go, I'm gonna start our time lapse here. Alright, Brandon, what are we up to? Hang a shelf. Well, here we are. Brandon is helping me hang this shelf here that dad helped us create. So we got some all thread on some simple plywood, and then we went ahead and hung these nifty little hangers here. So the game plan is to stock the inventory with the wheel on display up there. All right, how do you feel about the new countertop space? Pretty pro. A little <laughs> inch back. Uh, what do we got going on? Rain does the whole walk around every time. You gotta zoom in on him. But she's gonna get, oh, go yeah. back around and do another, another walk around. Before. <laughs>
Okay, wanted to uh, just take a second here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I wanted to show you guys a little bit around the storefront here. So, uh, Dad and myself and the whole team put in a little bit of extra credit work to build a countertop and a fresh dividing wall with a little like over overhang. So this is a little dividing wall and a countertop that we got to build. So. This will hopefully make the place feel a lot more welcome. You come in, this is what you would see. Oh cool, there's a couch. There's a TV. There's a countertop. Man, I really wanna buy one of those. Okay, cool, check me out. Sweet, swipe, I'm good, yeah, yeah. Anyways, but yeah, thanks for watching this edit. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this one versus the other latest ones coming out. Um, again, we're really trying to find our groove on YouTube. YouTube is so difficult for me to be consistent. But anyways, later guys.